Rome. Home of the Vatican, the Colosseum, and lots of other old stuff. I've put a speaker in of the Romans. Respect to the Romans, they love to bang in tune. Having heard lots of good things, I decided to fly over there to see what all the fuss was about. That's probably why the security's a bit lax, because they're like, well, even if someone did come here and blow it up, it's already a ruin. That's quite literally what it is. Uh, but that was one hell of a greeting to Rome, stepping off the coach and nearly tripping over a man laid out in the pavement, uh, resting his head on a milk carton. When in Rome, you've got to do it. I've been awake over 24 hours. Haven't had a shower, haven't brushed my teeth, haven't had a dump. Lovely parking there, just straight over the zebra crossing. Do what you want, meets Italy. Just nearly walked through what looks like human poo. Maybe it was dog. It looks like multiple dogs. A bit suspicious. To be fair, I am in the arse end of Rome here. I don't know where I am. It's time to get my first taste of authentic Italian pizza. And then another one would be uh, the agony in the extra. Really good. Brilliant. Okay, lunch finished. Uh, pizza was actually really nice. And now I'm off to go see one of the biggest landmarks in Rome. It's a fountain. The way to cross roads in Rome is just by crossing them. Cheers, Jeff. One thing I've noticed about Rome is it loves a billboard for Mackies. There are just signs everywhere pointing you to a Mackies. Maybe they've got some sort of deal with Rome, I don't know. Around this corner should be the fountain that I've come this way for. And there's about a billion people. This is the entire population of Rome here tonight by the looks of it. Wow, that is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I can barely even fit it on the screen. Built in the 1700s. It looks older, but it was only built 400 years ago. This is worse than the Mona Lisa, is this? All for a fountain. Looks like there's a man with a whistle or something. Whistle man there, just in in the corner. You, you, all right. Yeah, you're ruining the audio. He was whistling. You're gonna need more than a whistle to keep people under control. Have you seen how many people there are here? Way too busy, too many people. I've said this before and I'll say it again. We need a call. I just think it's important to sample the local cuisine. That's exactly what I plan to do while I'm here. I don't even know if I'm walking the right way. Who cares, it's Rome, do you know what I mean? That's why, that's why they go with the name, you just sort of roam about. That looks bloody lovely, whatever it is. What the hell's that? That's more interesting than the building. What car is that? That's incredible. Can I get one? I'm in the middle of a roundabout at the moment. Some church or something behind me here. But more importantly, I've got Mackies to consume. Quite a nice roundabout, quite a nice thing behind me. Church, whatever. A lot of bells going off. It is Sunday, I'll let them off. Where can I get one of them? Okay, day two here in Rome. Today I'm going to go to the Colosseum, then this afternoon I'm going to be going to the Vatican. They might not actually let me in the Vatican um, because I'm wearing short shorts. So we'll see what happens there. This is it. This is the Colosseum. I mean look at this. Oof, what a building. Can just about get me in it. Hey, Yeah it's a big, big structure isn't it? Big building. Pretty busy around here as you'd expect. Why do all these places have scaffolding? Look. Right up, right up there scaffolding it does look like it's falling down that's primed for a landslide is that at the top that's hanging off that's hanging off by a thread look at that i'm not sure how they're allowing this to still be open usually i'd say you know knock it knock it down but this already looks like it's falling down so i don't think you'd have to to be honest that's got speakers on there why is there a speaker there i have put a speaker in of the romans respect to the romans they love to bang in tune uh, that's probably why they installed that. I reckon that's original. Here inside the Colosseum, they weren't too keen with me bringing audio equipment in, but I did convince them somehow. Um, not that they were too keen with me bringing a camera in like this, to be honest, but again, somehow convinced them. Security's pretty lax in here. They didn't check my pockets. I went through a metal detector. They didn't bother patting me down or anything. Didn't even have to take everything out of my pockets. I could have had anything on me. So I'm not really... <laughs> Don't really think the security is that great if you do want to do something. I don't, don't, don't. Yeah, That's pretty big. One of the seven wonders of the world. Oh, yeah, it's alright. A bit of scaffolding up there. I love a bit of scaffolding. That's almost more impressive than the rocks up. Sort of work. Yeah, I mean, you can see sort of standard stuff really. Uh, a bit of brick, mortar, whatever. It's not really that impressive. I mean, I've got to be honest, it's probably one of the more disappointing places I've been to. I'm not sure what I was expecting. One of the seven wonders of the world. 
I expected something a bit more. Stick a restaurant down there or something. Do you know what I mean? I like, do something with it. Because uh, at the moment you can't even get down there, I don't think. It's just sort of rocks, bricks. That's probably why the security's a bit lax, because they're like, well, even if someone did come here and blow it up, it's already a ruin. That's quite literally what it is. So you can't really do much damage, can you? A lot of it needs rebuilding anyway, as you can see. This Colosseum bit's pretty cool. All right, but once you've seen it once, you don't even really need to do a lap around it, because it's sort of like, you've seen it. I mean, like, it looks the same all the way around, from the top, from the bottom. It, it, it's all just the same, isn't it? It's a, it's a ring of rock. It is a little bit bland. I was sort of expecting something a bit more inside. I mean, look. It's just rock, stone, concrete. This is probably done a couple of hundred years ago. That looks new. That looks new, that. That looks like it was done in 2010. So, I can't trust all this sort of history and that kind of stuff, because a lot of it's probably being rewritten. I mean, that doesn't look old, does it? Maybe 50 years ago, that. Looks like it was done in the 70s. My hopes are a little bit higher for the Vatican later on because this is not a good start. This, I'm sort of underwhelmed by it. Earlier I did just, uh, I tagged along with one of these tour guides because you can, do you know what I mean? If you find one that speaks English, they don't know whether you're a part of their group or not. Just tag along. You can hear the facts for free. They're only reading it off Wikipedia or whatever, aren't they? It's not like it's a big deal. Right, job done. The Colosseum finished it in under an hour. I sat and did some emails actually for 10, 15 minutes inside, to be honest with you. Um, it was alright, look, I'm not going to slag it off. No, I probably am to be fair. If you don't have a lot of money, if you're on a tight budget, probably don't bother. It looks better on the outside than in the inside. A bit like the Louvre. Uh, you know, it's impressive from here, I'm not going to slag this off. That looks cool or whatever. Inside, it's just a lot of rock, really. Just on my way to the Vatican, uh, just for a little trip there. Hopefully they let me in. I have changed from what I was wearing before, which was shorts, short shorts above the knees which isn't allowed. But the only other thing I've got with me are joggers. They're not like really informal joggers, but they are still joggers. So um, I don't know if they'll let me in the Vatican. I don't know what the alternative is. Have I just wasted 30 quid? Who knows? Maybe I can chat to the Pope, bribe him, whatever you have to do. I don't know, maybe he accepts bribes. But here's hoping, because uh, I might be in a bit of trouble otherwise. I think I can see the Vatican, I think. Jeez, I should have got sunglasses. It's bright i'm i'm tearing up but that's not because of the the palace it's just bright i don't even know if it is a palace what is it church palace it's yeah. big whatever it is it's absolute mayhem loads of people too many people i really feel like the camera does it a disservice to be honest i mean it's pretty mental it is very paris i mean there's a lot of sort of a paris feeling to this place really it's like a dirty paris rome um which I think that's a compliment. I mean, it does have some nice stuff. Well, don't get me wrong. Like, when I say dirty, I just mean it's got overflowing bins and that kind of stuff. It's not horrific. Anyway, I'm going to be going inside soon on a, a guided tour. I'm actually going to have someone touring me around or a group of us around this time, which I've not done before. Unlikely that I'm going to be able to film a lot, but at least I won't be speaking to the camera much anyway, if at all. I guess I'll see you either inside or afterwards, maybe. Right, I've just been in the Vatican Museums and through the Sistine Chapel. And look, it's impressive. There's some nice paintings, obviously. There's some nice stuff. But two hours of it. Two, two hours of walking around. You know, the tour guide, again, nice enough. She knows her stuff. Okay, brilliant. Do I want to hear it for two hours? Do I want you, like, chewing my ear off for two hours? Not really. Not re to be honest, not really. There wasn't a mute option either on the on the old uh, headset, so that was annoying. But, you know, there's some nice stuff in there, obviously. There is some nice stuff. But again, it's like when you've done it for two hours, it's like, okay, let's just cut it down a bit. Let's, let's separate the wheat from the chaff. And then the Sistine Chapel right at the end. I mean, show me that at the start and I'd have been more amazed by it. But once I've been, because I've been on my feet for two hours, it's like I, I just walked straight through. I didn't even stop. Particularly when there's a guy on the microphone telling everyone to be quiet, which was quite ironic. Um, you had to be quiet in there, I had to take my hat off in the Sistine Chapel. It's quite dark in there, so it's not like anybody could see it to be disrespected by it, but I had to. It was decent, but will I remember any of it? Probably not. It's like being back in school. I, mean, I was hoping she didn't quiz me on it at the end because I was like, this, I've just got no clue. It's just going in one ear and out the other. Yeah, then I came out, had a magnum. So, you know, you've got to try some of the Italian ice cream, haven't you? I'm now here at the Piazza Novana, I think. Maybe I've got a pronunciation one, probably have, let's face it, I'm not Italian. They love a water fountain here. They really do, they can't get enough of them. 
like make a few but then when you start to make i think they've got 2000 or 200 i can't remember which number i read one of the two regardless when you start to do that many fountains they're less special that's just you know just that's the way it is if you had 2000 eiffel towers nobody would bother another water fountain just down here big spire and oh look you can get a picture of angelina jolie as well i'm now going to walk in the general direction of i think they call it the pantheon which is apparently the most pristine temple church thing in the world according to his wikipedia page which i checked before coming here right i'm here i've walked to the uh, pantheon well, i don't know how to pronounce it but yeah it's massive as you'd expect the queue wraps around from here all the way around here all the way and then zigzags inside it's free but do you know what i mean it's it's also a big queue it, do, it looks nice you know it looks like something you'd see in athens or something um they have sort of ripped that off a little bit i wonder who did it first can't see too many uh too many issues with it it looks pristine There's a few like bullet holes or whatever they are, I don't know. It does have quite a lot of holes in it actually. Maybe it's not pristine. Are they bullet holes? Was it not built very well? I'm not sure. So I think it's a little bit misleading to say it's pristine. It's not pristine, is it? Do you know what I mean? I know Wikipedia's not always right, but I'm just saying it's not pristine. Just had dinner in front of the Pantheon and probably just had the best pizza I've ever had, I think, in 23 years. Had ham on it. I think it had a bit of basil. I don't know, I'm not really sure what, what they garnished it with. Really, really impressive. Better than the first one I had. I had a pizza on the first day. I've had a pizza on the second day. And this one was definitely better. Um, really, really impressed with it. Top marks. And I think probably the highlight of the day, actually, that pizza. Day three here in Rome. It's my last full day here in Rome. Tomorrow I do go home late at night. Still a few things I want to do here. I, d I am going to go back to that fountain and see if it's less busy this morning and then i'm going to go see a few other things later on today that i've been wanting to see still want to have pasta still want to have a proper gelato which i haven't had yet uh, i don't think a magnum counts hopefully that will happen at some point today finally made it to the fountain it's less busy than it has been and the other times i've come here but it's still fairly busy still quite a few people but i reckon i can get a better picture this time it's pretty incredible i mean just look at it it's not too bad, is it? You can understand why there's massive crowds. It's decent. It's a fancy water fountain, you know. Not sure what the building behind it's all about. It looks like offices. I just like the fact that it's just round a corner. It's like on a street corner. This is like a post box to these people, do you know what I mean? Because it's only 9.30, I'm going to head back to the Pantheon, which is uh, where I went yesterday, but I didn't go inside. Here at the Pantheon, again. This time the queues are not as big as they were, so I am going to go inside this time, uh, providing security let me. Pretty incredible in there. I mean, it's surprising that they let you go in there for free, to be honest, because that is pretty impressive. The dome and its side itself. I mean, look at the outside as well. Incredible. I mean, I've not got a clue what's going on in there. It's all like religious stuff and all that. I don't really know. Sort of tune out of that part, but but it's impressive. Like regardless of whether I know what's going on, which I don't, it's impressive. There's a couple of other places I want to visit. I'm going to go to the statue of Marcus Aurelius on a horse. I think I've accidentally stumbled across one of the most spectacular things I've seen since being here in Rome. Massive, massive buildings. I'm not quite sure what they are. I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. I'm not 100% sure though. Marcus Aurelius on a horse. Marcus Aurelius, of course, was a Roman emperor, but also a Stoic philosopher. If you've heard of Stoicism, then this guy was one of the Stoic philosophers. I believe this might be Hadrian. I don't know, I'm sort of making names up at this point. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he wasn't he the first one with a beard, the first god or something with a beard, I can't remember now. Um, the god of beards, or what, I don't think he was the god of beards. It was a goddess of um, fertility. I saw her yesterday, she had testicles wrapped around her. Insert picture here. What a woman, just testicles just hanging off her. I couldn't believe it, I was like, have I heard that right? Yeah. You know, it's like the Marvel Universe, isn't it? They were just sort of churning them out at that point. They're like, right, uh, we've got the sort of god of fury or whatever. Goddess of testicles? Yeah, go on then. I mean, churn that out as well. Wow, what an incredible place. I think they call this the altar of the father motherland. I'm not sure. Don't look, don't come to me for knowledge. This is a terrible idea. I mean, look at this. It's not, again, not going to fit all of the camera. It's incredible. 
It's like nothing I've ever seen before. We've got fires lit at the side of it. And it's incredible, incredible statue. Yeah, I mean, I've ne never seen anything like this before. I think it might be, uh, I feel like it's some sort of tribute to the military. I think it's got some sort of military uh, slant on it. I'm not really 100% sure. Those are two, obviously, two guys over there from military standing there with guns. Pretty spectacular. I know I've had a go at some of the places that I've seen so far, but I don't have a go at them for the sake of it. I genuinely have a go at them because I feel underwhelmed by them. This, on the other hand, didn't even really know it existed, to be honest. And I've come here and it's the biggest building I've ever seen in my entire life. And it's pretty impressive. I mean, it's these sort of statues dotted round here like it's nothing. In my opinion, this is probably better than the Colosseum. There's definitely some sort of military element which I don't fully understand. Uh, I think some sort of mention of World War I. You know, I, was, I, mean, I mean, this is older than World War I, obviously. Uh, I mean, they've got a cafe here, um, obviously, again, very much a case of you go up all these steps, you get to the top of all these steps, it's a hot day, you need a drink, Fanta, four euros fifty for a Fanta. It's about, what, three quid? Something like that, just over three quid. Uh, to be fair, it's free to come here, and I've got no plans on paying for anything else at this place, so three quid. Yeah, I'll, I'll class it as an entry fee. Now I've been ripped off my Fanta, it's time to leave. Uh, pretty impressive building, maybe one of the most impressive buildings I've been to so far. I've made it to the Spanish Square. It's very, very busy around here, uh, where the Spanish steps are. Not really sure what the significance of them are, to be honest, I haven't checked. Don't think I probably will check. Uh, I don't think it's actually got anything to do with Spain. I don't think they own the steps. Not sure why it's called that. There's a lot of people here. The taxi driver that got me here was just on his phone the whole time. <laughs> Looking through messages, one eye on the rose, one eye down to the phone. He had about four screens in front of him. I'm surprised we didn't kill someone. Would have made for great content, but it would have obviously left a family without a loved one, which we don't want, ideally. Just a lot of steps, really, isn't it? Too many. It's not very accessible, is it, for people in wheelchairs? As if there weren't enough water fountains. Of course there's another one. I mean there's a lot of people taking pictures of themselves on steps. I'm not sure if I've got it in me to go all the way up to the top of them in this weather. I mean it's ridiculous. But I've seen them. I'll touch them. Look at that, job done. Easy. I've conquered the Spanish steps. As you've just seen, finally got my pasta. Finally got an ice cream, a proper gelato, gelato, ge whatever ice cream. Finally. And I'll tell you what, pasta was good. Pasta was impressive. Tasted decent. Okay, the prices were a little bit all over the place. The Thai meal was like 20 euros. It's like 6 euros for a Coke, which was ridiculous. Most of it was ice, it was watered down. And then 14 euros for pasta which isn't too bad but 20 euros for the two horrific and then when they came over they gave gave me the bill and said um, this isn't including tips which is good of them so just they made it very clear it said on in bold letters doesn't include tips so they got three euros i'm not not giving any more than that fair enough to them making money rip some tourists off i'm all for it if it was in the uk i'd be doing the exact same rip them off they'll pay whatever they'll pay whatever 10 quid ice cream there you go i'm now gonna head back to the hostel for a little bit just for a bit of a relaxer been a lot of walking around this morning i've eaten a lot it's mainly the eating to be honest i've probably eaten more than i've walked um so i do need to have a siesta which i don't think is a thing actually in, in italy continental europe is all the same really so uh, i am just gonna go back and it's a bit of a relax just sat here in the hostel room in Rome, eating a croissant. It's about three days old. Brought it from, uh, brought it from Leeds, and it's got a hair on it. Brilliant. Uh, yeah, about three days old. Probably a little bit out of date, but when in Rome, do you know what I mean? Eat a croissant. Oh wow, that's stale as that. Mmm.